Spoiler warning, obviously, for those of you bold enough to click this video without ever read the manga of Oshinoko. For those of you who don't care, 3, 2, 1, and here we go. This guy right here is the father of Akka and Ruby, the one who started this story. Now I'm going to tell you everything we know about him as of chapter 115. Of course, we'll start with his name, Hikaru Kamiki. At first glance, he looks eerily similar to Aqua, but obviously, because they're blood related. He also got the same black star eyes, aka the star and gone. In the present time, he's 31 years old. I should probably start going over his timeline. Most of this info comes from Akane's research for starters. When Hikaru was 10, he was aiming to become an actor and ended up joining the La La Lai Theater Company. Then when he was 11, Hikaru apparently got the actress Ayura Himakawa pregnant with Taiki. Yeah, I know it's weird. She was a little grown adult, and maybe the woman took advantage of him, or this part might be Cap. Either way, that meant Taiki is essentially Aqua and Ruby's half-brother. Later on, Ayura's husband found out about this and then killed her and himself. I mean, I understand why he'd be so pissed. This married woman literally slept with an 11-year-old boy and had his kid, which is why either the math doesn't add it up, or she just fucked up in the head. Although, I don't know if murder-suicide was the best idea for revenge. In any case, it was theorized by Akane that Hikaru leaked the information to have her husband kill her without anything being linked back to Hikaru. For the next four years, Hikaru continued to study in the same place. Eventually, at 15, he met Ai, who had come there for some acting classes too. So, of course, they began to date under the radar somehow, leading to them sleeping together and Ai getting pregnant. Somehow, Hikaru learned about the pregnancy, and suspected he leaked the info to Ryusuke, the stalker. After tracking down the hospital, Hikaru probably hoped for that fanboy to kill Ai before she could give birth. The dude did not want to pay child support. Strangely, once he turned 16, Hikaru left La La Lai and joined a normal science course. He graduated from that and essentially disappeared for a long while, nearly a decade because he eventually found his own talent agency, marking his return to the entertainment industry at the age of 25. Sometime during his disappearance, we see Ai calling Hikaru, and even giving him her new address. And we all know how much of a mistake that was. It's likely he also gave this info to the stalker, leading to Ai's death. The first time we actually see him in person is actually through Ruby. In chapter 72 of the manga, Ruby had went to go pay respects to her mother's grave, and as she's leaving, she unknowingly passes him. Hikaru is undercover, but comments on how beautiful Ruby has grown, and that he's not surprised since she is their child. We see him again in chapter 96, at the Japan Film Awards event and Akane mistook him for Aqua. She also suspiciously received white flowers of someone, who I expect is Hikaru. The white flowers delivered to his target seem to be his thing. Lastly, we see him in action in chapter 109. He's having a drink in disguise with the popular actress, Yura Karayose. He says he believes her talent is the real deal after Yura proclaims she wants to star in many masterpieces with a star in her eye, just like I. She also revealed to him that she is going to go mountain climbing by herself. Hikaru warns her that no one will be able to find her if something happens in the mountains. And sure enough, a few days later, in the mountains, we see Hikaru standing over a dying body. He probably pushed her off. He says he could feel the weight of his life after taking her precious life. So clearly from that, we know his primary targets seem to be rising actresses, and he seems to enjoy watching the life fade from his victims. He also uses his skills as an actor to get closer to his victims. He gains their trust before striking, when the conditions are perfect. He's obviously very calculated, as you see that with Yura, making sure she'd be all alone and making it seem like an accident. The same could be said about Ai, where he clearly made sure there was little to no evidence that could be traced back to him. And that's pretty much all we have of Hikaru as of chapter 115. I started reading way before it was revealed, so I'm glad we actually got a lot more info on him now. Well, it's not a ton, but we know some stuff. It'll be hype when Aka and Ruby finally meet him. Anyways, I wanted to cover some Oshinoko stuff since the story's pretty freaking amazing. But I also got some more House Paradise Kanda on the way too. For now though, thanks for watching this far, and let me know what y'all think of the dad or Oshinoko in general. Otherwise, you can click here to check out some more of my vids or you can subscribe, which I'd appreciate a ton. Peace.